Alright, if you've clicked this video, it's because you want to get a 9 in your maths. Now, I'm going to give you no BS advice. I'm going to tell you exactly things you can do literally this second. Like, you can take this advice right now and you'll be up like 5 marks in your exam. If you listen to what I'm about to tell you, right? So, um, I've got a host of tips, right? Things you can do right now. I'm not going to sit here and be like, guys, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. None, none of that crap. Let's just not waste any time. Let's just get into it. Right? I'm going to just tell you. Tip number one, you want to buy this calculator right here. Have a look. Casio Classwiz, the FX991EX. Now, why do I say to buy this? All right. This calculator, bro, is cracked. People aren't hopping on this. It's perfectly legal in your exam, right? This is the standard calculator for A-level maths. And it's perfectly legal in your exam. You can't use the the graphical one. I'll show you real quick. The graphical one, you're not allowed, right? This one, you're not allowed to use this. This is the one that you can't use. All right, this thing's a monster. All right, you can't use that in your exam, right? So if you've seen that around, don't don't buy it. Okay. What you can use is this one. This is the FX nine nine one EX, the class with, right? Why do I say to buy it? Why do I say to buy it? All right, several reasons. Number one. It's got a lot of functionality. You can solve quadratics. You can solve simultaneous equations. You can do prime factors. You can do substitution. You can do all these things and you can do them very fast. Remember, we're in, we're in an exam setting. We need to be saving time. So you can do everything on rapid fire. Like, why would you not take the opportunity? Let me show you how to do it. All right. So if you buy this calculator, we'll do quadratics first. So the first thing you do, you turn it on, right? Well, that's, I'm, I'm in the screen already. Right. So this is what you see, right? Standard thing you see. Also, if your calculator is bugged, just reset it. Shift um, nine like that, and then, like initialize it. Click three, and then you just go through with that. But anyway, you don't need to do that. So here we are on the menu setup. <coughs> Sorry, I'm sick. Uh, menu setup. Go down. Go down again. Then go right. Equation function. This is a set. You see how you got there? Simultaneous equation and polynomial. So you can solve quadratics on polynomial, and then. Some of those equations on number one. So we're going to do a quadratic click number two. Uh, the, the degree is two because it's x squared. It's num you know, x squared is the highest power. Two is the highest power. So there you go. That's what you got. And then you just substitute it. So let's do x squared plus 6x plus 8. You can factorize that, right? And you would have got x plus 2, x plus 4, yeah? And then look, it solves it right there. Look how handy that is. Look how good that is. So when you're doing quadratic formula and you have to write in the whole minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac over 2a. When you do that whole thing, right, I see it all the time. Even like when I have students who are literally a year ahead, right, I I'm teaching them and they're ahead of their class by like literally a whole year, right. So I've got someone in year 10 and they're working at a year 11 level. They're going to take their exam early. I still see the mistake of they substitute it wrong. They make a typo in the calculator. Happens all the time. Bro, you get the calculator, right? And you just put in the coefficients, yeah? That's never happening again. That's never happening. Let's do, like, I don't know. Like, I'll do, like, 3x squared minus 65 minus 98, right? Look. Boom. I got my roots. Just like that. Instantly. Instantly. Just like that. It even gives you the turning point as well, which you sometimes need for completing the square. You can check it there as well, which is, like, it's giving you help in qu solving quadratics and completing the square. That's how you do the first one. Simultaneous equations, right, is the second one. Menu set up, you go to the same place, down, down, right, click equals, right, and then click simultaneous equation. And then you only have two unknowns in GCC, just like that. And there you go, you can see it right here. You just sub it in, you sub it in, boom. So I'm just gonna do random one, five, six, uh, nine, eight, nine, I don't know, five, two, two, and it's five. And look, it will do it like that. Solve it right in front of your eyes. You know what I'm saying? So that's also really strong. Uh, you can do that. So that's two things you can do. Um, also, if you do, um, if you just write any number, right? So if you want to do prime factors, which you need for HTF, LCM, right? Um, with like the Venn diagram stuff. If you just write any number, so let's do, I don't know, 8,692, yeah? Right, so you can fi you can manually figure out what that is, right? All you got to do, right, is write out the number, click equals, like that, and then click shift, and you click fact, here. Boom, prime factors. 
Bro, I can't believe people go into their exam without knowing this. And you can do that one on the normal GC calculator. You just click shift and facts and it gives you the prime facts. It's just like, like, I don't know why people haven't learned this before. But anyway, that's something you can do. Also, substitution you can also do. Um, it's really... It's really easy. So, for example, um, if you need, if you need to like, you know, when you get a question where they give you, um, they give you like a table and you put in the values, right? Imagine it's like this. It's like six x minus two, right? And you sub in all the values, right? What you can do is then you can just go and go on the calc and you can change the values. So when x is minus two, there you go, minus fourteen, and just change it minus one. So you can't see. Let me do it like here. Let me do it here. Sorry, uh, calculator. Wait, if you do maybe for four, put in four into x like that, just like that. It works just like that. And you can do that for quadratic. So if you want to do like substituting for a quadratic, you can just do it like that. X squared plus six x plus nine like this. Let me show you. Uh, hello, hello, focus. There you go. Right. And if you just go to there, and you just change the value to minus I don't know six. Oh, sh bro, I can't, I can't, I can't move my, I'm looking at the camera when I'm doing it. Right, there you go, boom, like that, exactly, you just put it in. So, that's some of the things you can do. Um, also, if for some reason, you, if for some reason, um, you find, you find your um, paper online, you can also just start storing in values into here. Um, if you wanted to, like, I, I don't really care about like cheating or whatever, right? If, bro, bro, don't even lie. If you have the option, you would do it. Let's be real. If you could, you would. Like, if, if you found the paper, trust me, you're memorizing that. Let's be real. Let, let, let's, just, let's just be honest between me and you, right? There's no, there's no moral high ground with this crap, right? You want to get the best grade possible, no matter what, basically, right? That's kind of what you need. That's kind of what I needed. And yeah, so I use this calculator and it's very very strong also okay this is a bit trickier i don't know if i can explain this properly but basically um you know there's questions that have like the difficult indices um and it's like you have to like simplify and it's all proper messed up okay um basically there is a way to do that in your calculator as well but you have to use logs and what logs are is it's like the opposite of indices kind of so for example if i say two to the power three equals eight yeah, so basically log to base 2 of 8 is equal to 3. So what logs do is basically they ask um, what number to the power of something equals this. So if I do log of base 2, 8, that's saying 2 to the power of what is equal to 8, which is 3. Do you see what I'm saying? If I did, if I did uh, log to base 4... 64 that's saying 4 to the power of what equals 64 which is 3 i'm not going insane yeah it is 64 right i, I can still do maths <laughs> right that's the first thing get the calculator right get the calculator because that's going to save you a lot now also um what i also recommend is i have like an exam kind of technique that i use to go through a paper like I have a certain method that I give my students to, you do it in this order, right? And once you've gone through it, you go back and you go through in this order. I'm going to, I've written out a whole explanation. Look in the description of this video. I, I'm going to, I'm going to put it in there. And that's, that's the method that I use. If you want to use it, you can. If you don't, I don't really care. It's up to you, but I'll leave it there if you want to use it. So have a look at that. And aside from the calculator stuff, um, and aside from the exam technique stuff, in terms of revising, it's the same. It's the same crap you've heard all the time. It's past papers. It's just past papers and rinsing it. You have to rinse it. You have to rinse papers, bro. Like there's no other substitution to it, right? Find the topics that you're weak on, circle them in your in your syllabus, right? And just drill papers on that. On Mass Genie, on Corbett Math is kind of weak. I won't like the questions are quite easy. Save my exams is good. Um, and just drill papers, bro. You have to just drill papers. That's like it's the same advice you've heard, but it works. But I hope the calculator stuff was helpful. Um, take a look at the exam technique stuff. And if you guys want more like general exam advice, I can make another video on that. But I hope that was helpful. I'll leave a link for this calculator in the description. It is literally like 15, 20 quid. I do reckon honestly, like if you if you're gonna buy it, just buy it, right? And there is some more stuff you can do in it. Like you can do integration and stuff like that if you're doing ad maths, and you can also do also do um differentiation 
My camera messed up, I'm back. All right, anyway, as I was saying, you can also do quadratic inequality. So same thing, go down to, and then go over here, and then boom, equals. And then, yeah, because I could never get these right, bro. This this stuff just messed me up. And when I was sitting my exams, I just didn't clock it uh, at all. And then just whatever sign you have, just pick one. I'll do this one, and then you just put it in, and it does it. So if I just do one, six, eight, like that, you can see. There you go. So it's really strong. It is really, it's really, really good. So I do recommend that you invest in this calculator. And yeah, otherwise, in terms of just exams, in terms of just your math, bro, you just got to bang out those papers. Also, also, one thing, right, okay, so when you do a paper, when you do a paper, I'll be back in one second, right? When you do a paper, yeah, when you do a paper, there's always like a barcode. There's always like a barcode on the paper. Oh, all right. Anyway, right, so like this isn't a paper, right? But if you look at a paper, right, down here, there's like, I'm just plugging machine you right now. <laughs> but down here, there's like a barcode on the paper. And there's like some letters and numbers, bro. You can type that up. I'm not going to lie. Like in like mocks and stuff, you can type that up. And you can often just find the paper. And on like on the student room, they talk about it sometimes. Um, so like look at the barcode. Because like, okay, one thing you could try. I don't know if it really works anymore. But I know like some people in the past, they would go into paper one. They'd find the barcode that has the paper on it, like on the paper. And they'd like write it on their hand. And often it would be like a long number. And then the last number would be one. So that's paper one. Next one have a two ending in it, and then they were typed it in Google, and they may find it. I'm not saying that will work; it may not work, but there's like a chance it could. So if you go in your paper and you write down the barcode on your, you write down the the, the numbers and the letters, like it'll be like P five nine, like one two seven, something like that. It'll be like a string of numbers starting with P usually, at least for Edexcel, I know. Um, you can do that, and like if you're, I don't know, like sometimes you can like type that up, and you'll find the actual paper. Um, it works sometimes, sometimes it doesn't, but that's something you can also try. Just don't get caught. Just just don't be bait. Let's just like just don't be bait, bro, and you'll be fine. And I got a nine. And I was, I mean, like I I didn't do I didn't do that for my paper. I didn't do that. I didn't need to because I was actually like I banged out math so hard. But like that's something that you can do. So keep that in mind. Let's see if I get cancelled. Let's see if Edexcel cancel me for this video. I don't know. You can try. I don't really care though because I'm not even in uni. I'm on a gap year, bro. But we'll see. I hope this has been helpful, guys. Um, I've got like some other videos on whatever if you want to watch it. I don't really care. It's up to you, bro. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.